In my first video recipe, I will be showing you how to make one of my favorite meals, Wiener Schnitzel. This happens to be the most Austrian dish you can try, and I highly recommend you try if you get a chance. For this recipe, you'll need some meat, which I'll talk about in a second, some salt and optionally some pepper, about two cups of breadcrumbs, two cups of all-purpose flour, just something you have in your pantry, nothing too fancy, and three to four eggs, depending on the size, and also some lard. We use something similar to concentrated butter, but lard or a good quality oil can also be used. For high efficiency, I recommend you set up three stations using two sheets of aluminum foil and a deep plate. Begin by whisking the eggs in the deep plate and lightly season with some salt. Then transfer both the flour and the breadcrumbs to the two aluminum sheets. Now season the meat. For this recipe we use turkey meat, however traditionally either veal or pork would be used. Lightly season with salt and if you like a little bit of pepper. Now you can take the meat and completely cover it with the flour. Dust off any excess and then immediately dunk it into the whisked eggs. Again let any ex excess drip off and then transfer to the breadcrumbs. You'll want to ensure that the meat is completely and evenly covered in the breadcrumbs and I find this is easiest if you use your fingers to really pat the breadcrumbs into the meat. Then transfer the breaded meat onto a plate and continue doing the same with the rest. For the full recipe, you can visit my blog healthinspirations.net where I have the recipe including the exact quantities. I'll have a link to my blog and all my social media channels in the information bar below so check that out if you're interested. When you're done breading the meat, you can heat up the lard in a large deep pan. Make sure not to heat it up too high, otherwise you'll burn the meat. A good way to test whether the lard or the oil is hot enough is to simply sprinkle some of the dry breadcrumbs into the oil and when they start sizzling, you can start frying the meat. Fry the schnitzel for about four to five minutes on medium heat until just golden and then carefully flip over onto the other side, trying not to splatter oil over your kitchen. Fry for another four minutes on the other side. Transfer the schnitzel onto a plate covered with a few layers of kitchen roll to prevent a big puddle of oil from forming. Whilst you're cooking the rest of the meat, you can transfer the cooked schnitzel to a preheated oven, which will ensure that they stay warm and crispy. We usually serve schnitzel with butter parsley potatoes and a preserve made from cow berries, which might be a bit hard to find outside of Europe. But ketchup is a really good substitute. And for some vitamins, we like having a side salad. On this particular day, we had a salad from the garden with some radishes. I hope you enjoyed this video and for more recipes and more lifestyle inspired posts, make sure to visit my blog.